हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज़ रुचा महाजन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जर्नलिज्म एंड मास कम्युनिकेशन फॉर जगन्नाथ यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर सो टुडे माय टॉपिक इज लाइट थ्री इंट्रोड्यूस्ड लाइट एज यू शुड रिलाइज बाय नाउ यू कैन यू कैन बी अफ्रेड टू क्राफ्ट लाइट वेन यू नीड टू यू डू नॉट हैव टू एक्सेप्ट वॉट्स प्रेजेंट इन अ सीन मूव around and see where is the best light to best light is move lamps shift your subject and slow down the shutter but but in some situations when found or ambient light is not sufficient you will have to introduce light in this lecture you will learn about reflectors and we will go into details about using flash in a variety of situations even outdoor and in the daylight D light crafting light modern cameras can shoot in very low light levels you can create a beautiful mood in your pictures using just the light from a ta- table lamp as long as it has a shade on it which softens the light place the light place the light off to the side at about eye level overhead lighting creates harsh shadows just as the sun does when it's directly overhead firelight too can work wond- wonderfully usually it is off to one side or slightly lower in the frame as can sunset light coming in from the side note overhead look for opportunities to experiment with unusual light sources such as car tail lights A photo of lion in a tree in Uganda's Albertine Rift shows a dramatic use of introduced light. In this case, a bright flood light purchased for less than $20 without the without the introduced light, the lion would not have been visible in the tree. Next is introducing light with reflectors. Reflectors which can be per- purchased at a camera store represents another form of introduced light they are used to bounce ambient light to where it is needed often to fill in shadows next is try using the gold side of a reflector rather than the white or silver side to get warm light it's difficult to hold a reflector and shoot at the same time so try to get someone else to help if you don't have a reflector you can use something as simple as white poster board or even a t-shirt anything that is bright to bounce back bounce the light back to bounce light remember through though the that the light will pick up the color of whatever you are bouncing it off of next is flash flash the other main main kind of introduced light is flash which is not continuous because it lasts only an instant continuous light sources those stay on those that stay on are generally better because they allow you to craft the light and the take and take note of the shadows and highlights you can craft with non continuous light too but you have to chimp it you have to look at the back of the camera to see what the light is doing modern flashes use strobe lighting a super intense burst of light that last lasts just a microsecond if used incorrectly light from a flash can bleach out subjects light from flash is also cool in color meaning it's not true many cameras have an automatic pop up flash but you may be better off not using it in most situations next is The secret to using flash correctly is to use fill flash which lights the subject sub- subtly but not too much. This technique requires taking time and making multiple adjustments to craft the light. Get in the habit of shooting, jumping, adjusting and shooting again until you have gotten a shot you like. Next is field demonstration. A field demonstration at Raptor Recovery, Nebraska shows numerous options for using flash. The worst flash technique is called direct flash, 
which shoots light straight on at the subject unfortunately this is only option this is the only option with many point and shoot cameras that have a built in flash the result is very harsh light remember the farther remember the further back you are from the your subject the harsher the light one technique to get better results with flash is to get the flash off the camera hold it off to the side and use a sync code this technique reduces the red eye effect and results in more natural looking light you can also try diffusing the flash by wrapping a tissue or a napkin around it and you can darken the scene and you can darken the scene by adjusting your sh shutter speed and aperture a low cost device called softbox which is mounted to the flash spreads and diffuses diffuses the light from the flash to create much softer light the key here is to hold the softbox close to the subject the closer the light is to the subject the softer it is remember to check the menu settings in your camera for instructions to adjust your flash and dial it on it down if you have a stand alone flash there should be a way to adjust it on the flash itself you can generally dial a flash down a minimum of 2/3 of a stop you may sometimes want to dial it in down a full stop or even more as always you should take multiple shots get in the habit of shooting jumping and adjusting until you get a shoot shot you like all right next slide is if for some reason you can't diffuse your flash the next best thing is to bounce it off something such as walls the ceiling or even yourself you can't bounce your flash if it is built into a point and shoot camera but you can if you have but you can if you have an external flash unit that can tilt or rotate Of course you will probably have a hard time bouncing flash outside but if you are shooting inside and you have a unit with an adjustable flash head bounce that flash off another surface even an index card taped to the flash head flash doesn't travel too far you should be within about 10 feet of your subject when you are using a flash using flash outdoors and in the daytime flash is not just for night time or indoor shoots you can use flash to eliminate shadows during daylight hours too a field shoot demonstrates how you can reverse the situation of bright background light outdoors and subject in the shade in these conditions increase the shutter speed to darken the background then use the flash with a soft box to brighten up the subjects move around your subject to get different lighting effects try ghost lighting over head lighting and rembrandt lighting next is behind the lens flash comes off and on in such a short amount of time that it can really hurt you actually as wonderful as flash is it can really hurt your subjects even bleach them out is if done wrong it is brutal in fact i would argue that people are better off never using their flash rather that ruining every situation in they come across when they take it out because they can't control it as you shoot look for ways to add depth to your image include objects that recede into your in, recede into the background and objects in the foreground that highlight in your main highlight your main point of interest note however that the light from from a small flash carries only about 3 feet you need to get very close to your subject next is flash for freezing action beyond simply lighting your subjects you can take advantage of the lighting fast nature of the flash to freeze action when you sh when you are shooting flash in a dark situation the result can look as if your subject is in a cave to eliminate this effect you can either use a long shutter speed to collect what little ambient light is present or you can put other flashes in the background to light up the scene 
in many cases the best choice is to keep the shutter open long enough to soak up the colors the ambient light the and perhaps some of the backgrounds as long as the subject in the foreground is sharp it's all right if the rest goes a bit blurry in dark situations experiment to determine how slow the shutter should be check the display on the camera and look at the histogram to make sure you have enough light but to but not too much if anything is touching the right side of the histogram that means you are clipping information that you can't get back if histogram if the histogram seems to be huging the left side that means your exposure exposure is getting too dark which may be acceptable depending on how you want your image to look remember lighting well remember lighting well takes time so don't be in rush by experimenting and training your eye you can take an ordinary scene and make it extraordinary that's all for the day thank you so much